Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our geography session this afternoon. Today we are going to have a look at settlement geography, and uh, we've got lots of work to cover because we'll have to cover both uh, rural and uh, uh, urban settlement this afternoon. So you'll have to stay with me because at times I will have to push a little bit fast uh, in our presentation this afternoon. So we are going to have a look at uh, rural and, 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 and urban settlements. We are going to start off with a few concepts, a few, few in the introductory concepts uh, regarding settlement geography. And I can promise you that these concepts are very, very, very important people. Remember that many uh, marks are lost in exams because people do not know their, 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 their concepts. Now, I've repeated this throughout our, our telematic sessions. And please pay attention and please see that you know all these concepts and that you can be, uh, uh, be able, that you are in a position to apply these concepts in your geography examinations. So let's just have a look at uh, the most important three concepts in uh, settlement geography. The first thing that we want to have a look at has to do with the size and function of uh, the settlement. Now, what's very important here is that you must know that the settlement, some settlements are small and some settlements are large. Now, what we've got here, I've arranged the settlements from the smallest one to the largest one. The isolated farmstead, the hamlet, the village, the town, city, metropolis, conurbation, megalopolis, as you see, they are getting bigger and bigger all the time. So you must be able to know which one is bigger, larger than the other one. And please, people, also see that you can give a very short description of each one of these uh, settlements. The second one, and this is very, very important, is that you must be able to distinguish between a rural and an urban settlement. Now, let's just have a look at this. How do we distinguish between rural and urban uh, settlements? Remember, this can be also examined in your second, uh, be examined in your second question paper. You must know on diagrams, what do we look at? How do we know whether a settlement is rural or urban? The most important thing is that your rural settlement is single functional. Now, what do we mean by single functional? Single functional uh, meaning one. Only one type of activity. Remember that when we, when we try to distinguish between rural and urban, there's only one thing that we consider. That has to do with the activity, activities, whether it's primary, secondary, or tertiary activities. And in your, in your, in your uh, rural area, we only have primary activities. That's why it's called single activities. So these are the type of activities that you could expect in a rural uh, settlement. Farming. Mining, fishing, forestry. So these are all our, our, our primary activities. But let's have a look at the urban settlement. The urban settlement is a multifunctional settlement. Now what do we mean by multifunctional? Multi means more than one or many activities. So here we've got our secondary activities and we've got the tertiary activities. Uh, in, in, in other words, we've got everything that has to do with, with, with services when it comes to your, to your uh, uh, tertiary activities. So let's have a look at what we expect there would be your industries and your services in uh, the uh, urban uh, settlements. So these people, if you have a look at the slide, please remember, you must know how to distinguish between the two. It's very, very important. You must know rural. You must know urban. Remember that if you look at your topographical map, some of the, 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 the areas will be rural. Some of them uh, would be urban. Uh, urban. You must be able to distinguish between them. The following concepts will be nucleated and dispersed. Now, Nucleated and dispersed uh, people is one of, of the concepts that are regularly uh, 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 examined in, in, in the, the end of the year exams. Please, people, you can lose lots of marks if you don't know the difference between nucleated and dispersed. And, it's very important, if you don't know that pattern involves nucleated and dispersed settlements. In other words, if they ask you in the exam, what is the pattern of the settlements at A? then you must know that your answer must be either nucleated or dispersed. 
what is the pattern of the, uh, of the settlements at B? My answer can only be nucleated or dispersed. So please remember that pattern involves nucleated and dispersed settlements. Now let's just have a look, because this is quite easy, people. Have a look at this. Nucleated, very easy, buildings close to each other. And of course, the dispersed one uh, would be the buildings that would be further Apart. So this is quite easy, people. Uh, you, you, can, you, can, you can get uh, lots of, of marks uh, when they ask this. But then you must know your, uh, your, your concepts. You must know what pattern is all about. A very popular question in the, in, in the exams is which one is better? If you ever look at your nucleated uh, 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 pattern and you look at your, at your dispersed pattern, it's very, very important that you must be able to say, but which one uh, uh, is better? Now, let's have a look at the slide that we've got here. Here we've got our nucleate uh, uh, pattern, and here we've got the dispersed pattern. Now, let's us have a look uh, at the difference between the two. Remember, these are two farming communities, uh, communities that we've got here. Here on this diagram, here, here we've got that the farmers, they all stay in the town here. Well, have a look at this. Here we've got the farmers staying on different, on their farms themselves. Here are the farmers' boundary. This farmer will stay here. This one will be here. The settlement stay at his farmhouse and this one there. So here we've got the farmer on his own piece of land here. Here we've got this. Have a look at this uh, 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 other difference. Here we've got an X, another X, another X, another X. Those are loose pieces, uh, patches of land uh, belonging to one farmer. So, the difference is that when you have a look at this one, this one stays in the town here, uh, Amlet here, and what happens is that this farmer will have to travel around to his different patches of land, very small farms in this area, where this one, as a single farm, the farmer uh, st lives on the farm, he stays here, he's got control over the farm, what the farming activities and everything uh, like that. Now let's have a look at the difference between, let's have a look at, at, at the question, why is the dispersed one better in an in a, in a economic sense than the nucleated one? Let's have a look at this. Here we've got a large single farm. Look at this, a large uh, loose patches of land. Here, the farmer manages the farm himself. But look at this. This farmer will have to have a foreman of, on, in, on each of his small patches of land here. And, and the foreman will manage the land. Here the farmer can make his own independent decisions. Not here on this side. Here he lives on this farm. Here this one lives in, 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 in the village. No traveling involved here. With this one, we've got lots of traveling because this guy will have to travel uh, uh, around here to visit all of his, of his, of his farm. And um, of course, mechanization here will be easy. Mechanization uh, would be the use of, of machinery. Yeah, we've got a question here. What is mechanization? That is now uh, the use of, of machinery. Uh, for instance, um, this farmer can use a tractor, for instance, on his, on his land here. But on this land, he's got a problem because this tractor will have to move around uh, between these, these farms. So mechanization here would be much easier than mechanization on this uh, nucleated settlement. So people, uh, please see that you are in a position to answer a question regarding uh, nucleated and dispersed settlements, especially this one, where you must be able to say which one would be much better from an economic uh, point of view.